how I so this furnace is not far enough. Got the field piece probe. See the inlet. Inlet pressure 5.1. See the ignited light. All right, this is just an old video footage that I had in my phone. I, I didn't even know I had it in my phone because I didn't have my GoPro with me on this service call. So I just decided to go ahead and post it. But uh, I come from a commercial background and uh, all control boards are very, very expensive. So I just got a habit of crossing my T's and dotting my I's before I condemn a control board. So whenever you see one of my videos and I end up replacing the control board. I almost check everything in this system. You know, all the safeties, you know, all the valves, just make sure they open and close, or make sure I got the correct amount of voltage to open or close or, or switch before I, before I condemn a board. But, uh, but on this video, I did find that I never was getting 24 volts to open that gas valve, so I am going to condemn this board. And trust me, I done seen with guys replace two and three thousand dollar control boards, and we put them in, and we having the same exact problem. I know residential, you might spend a hundred, a couple hundred dollars on a control board. Some may be a little more expensive than that, but like I said, I always like to make sure before I place that control board, and I come back and and the homeowner pays for a board, or when I do get the board, they expect for the unit to work. And if it doesn't work, you know, you're back to square one. So I like to be very, very careful. Like I say, cross my T's and dot my eyes. I try to take my time and, and just go through all the troubleshooting guys. But I have checked all the safeties on here, and for the sequence of operation, it's going through it for the inducer motor and then the uh, igniter, but that gas valve is never o opening. I even tried to bang it a couple times, but like I said, we're not getting the correct amount of voltage. And I played with the harness on that control board and it would never open. But here in a minute, you're gonna see me apply 24 volts to, to that valve and uh, make it open or force it open. So I'm just conf confirming that we have a, uh, it's a bad uh, board, it's not the gas valve. Because I got 24 volts going straight to this gas valve. And it's opening up. As you can see when I turn it on, you can hear it. Also, we got 3.5. So, like I said, I just bypassed it and took 24 volts from the transformer straight to the gas valve. And, uh, definitely have a bad board.